Neutral buffered formalin or NBF, also known as Trump's fixative, is basically formalin mixed with an appropriate quantity of phosphate buffer. Ordinary formalin can slowly undergo oxidation reaction to form formic acid, which then makes the formalin acidic with a pH of 3 to 4. So in order to counter this change in pH and stabilize the formalin to a more or less neutral pH of 7, phosphate buffer is added to the formalin. The use of neutral buffered formalin against ordinary formalin as histological fixative and also as preservative has gained popularity over the years mainly because formic acid present in ordinary formalin can easily react with the hemoglobin of blood to form acid hematin which greatly interferes with histology studies of animal tissues. This is overcome with the use of buffered formalin. Ordinary formalin being acidic can also react with the calcareous structures of certain groups of organisms with exoskeletons and thereby cause gradual disintegration of such specimens when preserved in ordinary formalin. For all these reasons, buffered formalin is probably the best option when it comes to wet preservation of specimens. Having said that, I've seen specimens over 50 years old and some even close to a century old being preserved in ordinary formalin and still keep their structural integrity to an appreciable extent. These specimens are mostly mammals including fetuses, reptiles, birds, fishes and even certain arthropods. I even have in my very own collection a three month old human fetus from the 1970s which was and still is preserved in ordinary formalin. This fetus which goes without saying is obviously delicate to begin with seems to be holding up pretty well in the acidic formalin. In fact, almost all, if not all, of the commercial wet specimens sold for academic purposes in my country are preserved in ordinary unbuffered formalin, being in virtually pristine conditions even after decades. They can be seen adorning the biology lab shelves of institutes throughout the country and catering to the bio lab requirements of students. Considering all these, you may take the liberty of using ordinary unbuffered formalin in one or a combination of the following instances. If you just can't find or can't make buffered formalin, if your specimen is not intended for scientific research in general and histology studies in particular, if your specimen doesn't have a calcareous exoskeleton or any such calcium carbonate based structures on the outside, if your specimen is one that has a thick resistant skin with or without fur, such as reptiles, mammals, birds, arthropods and some other groups of organisms. Even though fish scales which are mainly composed of animal and dentine are technically supposed to be prone to acid erosion, I found them to be fairly resistant to the acidity of unbuffered formalin based on the quality of the fish specimens deposited at the fish museum in my university. Nevertheless, it is always highly advisable that you use formalin in its neutral buffered form when preserving specimens if it's easily available in your region. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to prepare neutral buffered formalin. NBF is usually prepared or bought as a 10% concentration. To prepare 1 liter of 10% NBF, you'll need the following. Commercial formaldehyde distilled water or RO water or rain water or clean tap water, potassium or sodium phosphate monobasic, potassium or sodium phosphate dibasic, a 1 or 2 liter beaker, a 500 or 1000 ml graduated cylinder, a 50 or 100 or 250 ml graduated cylinder, stirring rod, spatula or a scoop, gloves, goggles, apron or lab coat along with a formaldehyde respirator if available, a large tray or plastic sheet for your workbench to collect accidental spills of formaldehyde and formalin, airtight or plastic container for storing the prepared NBF, weighing scale that is accurate to at least 1 gram. I'll be using a jewelry weighing scale accurate to 1 milligram that I recently bought online for Indian rupees 9000. You may check out my unboxing and review video of this weighing scale by clicking on the link in the screen or in the description below if at all you are interested. A pocket digital balance like the one shown here also does the job. 
To begin preparing 1 liter of 10% NBF, weigh 4 grams of monobasic sodium or potassium phosphate. followed by 6.5 grams of dibasic sodium or potassium phosphate using the weighing scale. And introduce them into a 1000 or 2000 ml beaker. Measure 900 ml of distilled or rain or RO or tap water using the 500 or 1000 ml graduated cylinder and pour it into the beaker. Stir to completely dissolve the phosphate salts. Now following all necessary precautions, measure 100 ml of commercial formaldehyde using the 100 or 250 ml graduated cylinder. Pour this formaldehyde into the large beaker containing the dissolved phosphate salts and thoroughly stir a minute or so. Pour the contents of the beaker into a container with tight fitting caps for final storage. You now have 10% NBF stock solution ready to be used as is or diluted according to the requirement. N1V1 equals N2V2 is a handy formula to calculate how much of the 10% stock NBF is required to prepare a certain percentage and volume of NBF. For instance, to determine how much of the 10% stock solution is required to prepare 100 ml of a 4% NBF solution, simply replace N1 with 10, N2 with 4, and V2 with 100 ml, N1 being the volume in ml to be determined. Do the math from here and you get the volume of 10% solution required. In this calculation, we have worked out that 40 ml of 10% NBF is required to prepare 100 ml of 4% NBF. The balance 60 ml is to be topped up with distilled or RO or rain or tap water. So this is pretty much all the fundamental knowledge on 10% neutral buffered formalin that one needs to know with regards to wet specimen preservation. Make sure to watch my other videos as well by clicking on the hashtags above this video title or the end screen cards shown right now or the links given in the description below. Thanks for watching.